Hello everyone. Uh, in the last class, we have discussed about probability. So just uh, let's just recall it once. So as discussed earlier, probability can be obtained by the ratio of total number of outcomes and the number of possible outcomes. So for finding a probability of an event, you will just write number of favorable outcome. to the total number of possible outcome okay this ratio or by dividing this two you will get the probability of the event which you are going to find okay so moving with the exercise uh, you can see page number 270 exercise 20 number question number one uh, die is rolled once what is the probability of rolling a three so whenever you will roll a die, whenever you will throw a die while uh, playing a Ludo, so you can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the 6 things that can happen when you roll a die. This 6 things or the 6 uh, outcomes will not arrive once. Okay, whenever you will throw a die, all the 6 numbers will not come at once. Okay, it may happen that you may get a 1, you may get a 2, you may get a 3, you may get a 4, you may get a 5 or you may get a... 6 so total possible outcomes that you can get while rolling a die are 6 what are those 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and here you need you are asked to uh, find the probability of getting a 3 so out of the 6 outcomes the possibility of so the question says uh, finding the you need to find the probability of rolling a 3 so for rolling a 3, number of outcomes which is in favor of 3 is only 1, okay? There are 6 outcomes, you can see there are 6 outcomes and the outcome which is in favor of 3 is only 1. So now here for number 1, your number E, sorry, your probability will be, how many favorable outcomes are there? For 3, we have only 1 favorable outcome out of the total 6 outcome which gives you the probability. A 7 can you see any outcome which is 7 here no so probability will be there is no outcome which is in favor of 7 so probability will be 0 by 6 that is 0 because we cannot see any outcome which is 7 so number of favorable outcome will be 0 0 by 6 which will gives you which gives you 0 okay an even number how many even numbers are there 1 2 and 3 so 3 outcomes are there which in favor which are in favor of even number so 3 by 6 Whenever it is possible to reduce into lowest term, it, you will reduce it. Okay. So 3, 1 times 3, 3, 2 times 6, which will give you 1 by 2. Then comes number D. A prime number. How many prime, <coughs> prime numbers are there? 2 is a prime number, you can see. 3 is a prime number and 5 is a prime number. So again, number of favorable outcome will be 3 out of 6, which gives you 1 by 2. Okay. So this is all about question number 1. Let's proceed to number 2. Uh, Ramesh chooses a date at random in April for a party. Calculate the number that he chooses. Uh, number A, a Saturday, a Sunday, a Saturday or a Sunday. So you can see in April, in April there are, just be, uh, near the question there is a calendar for the month of April. Okay. So the, uh, you can see there are 30 uh, days. Okay. Out of this 30 days, you can select any one of the dates, isn't it? Ramesh can choose any one of the 30 dates. But <clears throat> you need to find the probability that he chooses a Saturday. So out of the 30 days, how many Saturdays are there? You can see 4th, <coughs> sorry, 3rd <coughs> is a Saturday, 10th is a Saturday, 17th is a Saturday, 24th is a Saturday. So there are 4 dates which falls for Saturday out of the 30 dates. So your probability will be, <coughs> just a second. Your probability will be like this you will write probability is equal to 4 out of 4 dates falls for Saturday 4 out of 30 will be the probability for choosing a Saturday 2 times since we can reduce it so we are going to reduce okay like we can write probability a Saturday this is also a way of representing it okay you can write directly probability or probability of getting an event of Saturday or choosing a Saturday like that. So for number B, probability 
of choosing a Sunday or probability of getting an event that is Sunday. How many Sundays are there? You can see again the calendar. 4th is a Sunday, 10th is 11th is a Sunday, 18th is a Sunday and 25th is a Sunday. So 4 dates fall for Sunday out of the 30 dates 2 times 15 times which gives you 2 by 15 okay then <clears throat> a saturday or a sunday so the dates which is used should be either a saturday or a sunday how many days fall for that you can see 3rd 10th 17th 24th 4th 11th 18th and 25th this total 8 days are either for saturday or sunday so you need to find the probability that it it should be a Saturday or a Sunday there are eight dates which gives you either Saturday or Sunday so probability for number C probability a Saturday Saturday or a Sunday will be total number of favorable outcome is 8 out of the 30 total outcomes so 4 times 15 times so which is equal to 4 by 15 okay so now let's move to number 3, a normal die is rolled, calculate the probability that the number on the uppermost face when it stops rolling would be 5, it is very same similar to number 3, ok, whenever you will roll a die you will get how many outcomes, I guess you know 6 possible outcomes are there, what are those, you can get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, this 6 outcomes are the possible outcomes total number of possible outcomes because when you roll a die the die facing the top the the top may have number as one two three four five and six you will not get a number which is not which is not less than one or more than seven okay so what is the probability that it stops rolling with a five so number a one outcome is there out of the total six outcomes which is in favor of what 5 so for one number it probability will be 1 by 6 so then not 5 not 5 means 5 of a reply baki will 5 hovan alagi so 5 no holiki over but it can be a 1 2 3 4 and 6 so what are the favorable outcomes 1 2 3 4 and 6 so probability not 5 will be equal to 5 out of the total 6 outcomes number c and odd number how many odd numbers are there 1 3 and 5 so probability and odd number there are three outcomes which are in favor of odd numbers out of the total six outcomes one time two time which will give you 1 by 2 okay then number d a prime number you can see what are the prime numbers here 1 is a prime number 2 is a prime number and 5 is a prime number so probability of getting a prime number will be 3 out of 6 that is 1 time 2 time whenever it is possible to reduce you are going to reduce it okay don't worry for the notes it will be given in the pdf clear then number e uh, a 3 or a 4 so the outcomes which are in favor of 3 or a 4 are the 1 and 2 so for number e it will be probability a 3 or a 4 will be equal to 2 by 6 1 time 3 times so 1 by 3 number f <coughs> a 1 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4 so how many outcomes are in favor of 1 2 3 or 4 so there are 4 outcomes a 1 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4 is equal to 4 out of 6 2 times and 3 times so you will get 2 by 3 then G number an even prime number out of the 6 outcomes which is a even prime number only 2 is an even prime number so an probability an even prime number will be equal to 1 by 6 I hope it is clear to you all. Let's move to question number 6. Okay. So, you can, when you, uh, this question is related to card. So, like this, you can see in a card. A 
red color these two are red colors okay and these two cards are this is this card with the photo like this or with the symbol like this are called clubs these are called spades these are called hearts and these are called diamonds okay so you can see the board there will be 13 cards for this diamonds 13 cards for this hearts and 13 cards for this spades and 13 cards for this club so total number of cards in a pack of in a deck of cards sorry will be 13 for each set okay so there are four sets so total will be 52 so whenever it is seen like this just i'm going to show you with the cards just a second whenever it is seen like this a well shuffled deck of cards so well shuffled means shuffling the cards like this okay so that you don't get all the 13 cards together when it is distributed by among the players okay so this is called well shuffled deck of card okay so now you can see in the deck of card there may be cards with this so you can see uh, this is a card of herds okay this is a card of herds this is a card of clubs okay you can see the color is black this is a card of diamonds okay so i have one card of herds which is a red card one card of diamonds which is a red card one card of one card of clubs which is a red card and one more card of this one spades okay which is a black card so these are the four set of cards you can see here on the screen this herds diamonds clubs and spades each card will have there will be 13 cards for spades 13 cards for this clubs 13 cards for this diamonds and 13 cards for this herds okay all together 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 there will be 52 cards okay so among the cards the cards will be numbered from 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 this nine cards will be numbered cards okay it will start from 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so you will you might think there are only nine cards which are numbered so what about the four more cards okay what what about what about the four more cards okay the four cards will be one will be like this the number uh, this the j will be written for that it is called jack okay it is called jack which has a face okay it can also be called face cards jack will be there for herds for spades for clubs and for herds okay this is one more card king k okay this is also a face card queen okay this is also a face card four cards for each different different sides there will be four queens four jacks four kings okay and one more card which will be called ace this is the highest card okay ikka ace this card there will be four ace for four different sides okay so there are nine numbered cards okay 10th is jack 11th is queen 12th is king and 13th card is this ace which completes the whole set okay i hope it is clear to you all so now the uh, the question will be related to the cards which i have shown you okay so let us read the question <clears throat> a diamond is chosen so how many diamonds are there you can see 13 cards belongs to diamonds out of the 52 cards so for fours number a your probability will be 13 out of 15 13 one times 13 four times so 1 by 4 is the probability a king is chosen how many kings are there one king for diamonds one king for hearts one king for spades and one king for clubs so total four cards are there which belongs to king okay out of 52 cards four one times four 13 times so one by 13 so number c a black four is chosen a black four maybe may belong to spades and may belong to 
clubs because there are two sets which are black colored one one is spade and the other one is club so you may get a four from spades and you may get a four from club out of the total 52 cards so probability of getting a black card will be two out of 52 one time 26 times so your probability will be 1 by 26 then comes number D a 7 of herds is chosen you have to choose a 7 and that's also particularly from herds okay so you're going to out of the 52 cards the cards which you're going to choose has a favorable outcome only one okay the card which belongs to herds and which is a 7 is the only card which is in favor of the event whose probability you are going to find okay so it will be 1 out of 52. I hope this question is clear to you all of you. Let's move to number 5. A 9 playing cards are numbered from 2 to 10. You can see question or kakode uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8, 9, and 10. There are total 9 cards which are numbered from 2 to 10. A card is uh, selected from them at random. You can you are going to select any card. Okay, randomly you are going to select it without any particular manner. Okay. So calculate the probability the card will be a odd number. So for the odd numbers total, we have total <coughs> outcomes as 9. Okay. Out of this 9 outcomes, which, which are what are the favorable outcomes for an odd number 3, 3, 5, 7, and 9. 4 outcomes are there which are in favor of odd numbers. So 4 out of 9. Then number B, a multiple of 4. Multiple of 4 means 4 or table of the number below. So in the cards, you can see 4 comes, sorry, 4 comes in the table of 4, then 8 comes in the table of 4. So 2 outcomes are there out of 9 outcomes which are in favor of a multiple of 4. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see number 6. There, uh, This is a spinner, the, this spinner is spun. What is the probability of getting a 1? You can see there is a triangle spinner beside the cushion where the numbers are written as 1, 2 and 3. So when you spin a spinner, it, it may stop with any number. The numbers are 1, 2 and 3. So you can get a 1. It can stop with 1. It can stop with 2. It can stop with 3. So there are 3 total number of possible outcomes. Out of that, you need to find the probability of getting a 1. So only one outcome is in favor of one so one out of total three outcomes one by three is the probability not a one not a one means you can you should not get one so what you can get you can get a two you can get a three so two outcomes are in favor which are not one okay and then an odd number there are two odd numbers one is one and the other one is three so two out of total three outcomes number d not an odd number so there is only one outcome that is 2 which is not an odd number so 2 out of 2 is only one outcome so 1 by 3 is the probability for getting a for getting not an odd number clear number 7 in a game of in a game at a fit a pointer is spun you are going to spun a pointer <coughs> you win the amount of money written in the sector where the where the pointer stops each sector is equally likely. Mane sector distance into us, angles into us, it is equal. Kunba sector iman dawar jaga, kunba iman or kunba iman dua nai. Because kunba sector jodi iman jaga loy loy, tete tar ahar chances to besi ho jago, or kunba spend uh, sector to iman kini jaga jinto loy ase, tar ahar chances to come ho jago. So since they are equally divided, gote kini ahar chances to equal ho jay. Okay, it can stop with any number and the probability or the chances of coming uh, st uh, the spinner being stopped at pointing a number or pointing the rupees will be equal. So work out the probability that you win no money. No money means you have zero, zero rupees earned. For you. So how many sectors are there you can count near the spinner? One uh, total is 16 I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, 16 sectors are there. Okay. So out of the 16 sectors, then it can stop you at any of the 16 sectors. So total number of possible outcome is 16. Okay. So <clears throat> then no money means you are earning 0 rupees. How many sectors will have 0? 1, 2, 3, 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ओके सो एट सेक्टर्स आर देयर विच हैज जीरो रुपीज सो इट कैन स्टॉप विथ एनी ऑफ द एट सेक्टर्स सो प्रोबेबिलिटी विल बी एट इज द फेवरेबल आउटकम एंड सिक्सटीन इज द टोटल आउटकम एट वन टाइम एट टू टाइम सो इट विल बी वन बाय टू ओके देन नम रुपीज टू हाउ मेनी रुपीज टू आर देर वन टू थ्री फोर फोर आर देर ओके सो फोर आउटकम्स आर इन फेवर ऑफ रुपीज सिक्सटीन आउट ऑफ द टोटल सिक्सटीन आउटकम सो फोर वन टाइम फोर फोर टाइम सो योर प्रोबेबिलिटी इज वन बाय फोर देन नंबर सी सिक्स फॉर सिक्स रुपीज कैन यू सी एनी सेक्टर विथ रुपीज सिक्स नो सो फेवरेबल आउटकम इज जीरो आउट ऑफ सिक्सटीन दैट मीन्स योर चांसेस ऑफ वेनिंग रुपीज जीरो इज जीरो रुपीज सिक्स इज जीरो नंबर डी रुपीज टेन हाउ मेनी रुपीज टेन आर देर ओनली वन सेक्टर इज देर विच हैज रुपीज टेन सो वन आउट ऑफ सिक्सटीन दिस इज योर प्रॉबेबिलिटी सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द क्लास टूडे वी हैव डिस्कस टिल क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी गोइंग टू कंप्लीट दिस चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी ओके टिल देन थैंक यू एवरी